Okay, so to answer 41, we need to know the difference between our negative and uh, positive feedback loops, right? So in the negative feedback loop, let's say you are feeling very hot. Well, then the result is going to be sweating. Right, but now, now you've gotten uh, kind of chilly. So let's pretend that this is a snowflake of some kind. Okay, so now we're too cold. Uh, so then we start to shiver as there are some action lines, and then we get warm again, right? And so it's this balance between, well, well, we're sort of getting hot, and then, and then there's a mechanism to fix that, and then we get cold, and there's a mechanism to fix that. And you can sort of balance between these two states, never really getting too far off of some sort of equilibrium point. So if you had a, a temperature that you liked, if we had you know, too cold and too hot, so cold being blue and, and red being hot, this action sort of keeps you somewhere, somewhere in the middle. You pass a threshold, then you start to sweat, so you move back into it. Once you pass the cold threshold, you start to shiver, so you move back into it, right? Positive feedback, on the other hand, is say like when you have a fever, if you're sick and, and your temperature uh, starts to rise because you are sick, um, but then, it, you know, uh, due to this illness, and the bacteria is going to keep rising, and then keep rising, and then keep rising, right? And so the action sort of keeps driving it in one direction, and that is to kill the bacteria or virus or whatever is happening to go on. So this negative one sort of maintains a nice homeostasis and balance, whereas the positive one sort of drives a system away from where it wants to be. There should be like a nice range of temperature that we want to live. And, and the fever just just sort of brings it further and further away. So, so the letter choice we want for problem 41 is going to be A.